Hey everyone, welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be talking about how to fine tune a small language model. So we often talk about large language models, which are like GPT models, Llama, Minstrel, and so many things, right? But all these models, when it comes to deployment or even putting it in production, right? Okay. So these models are not uh, very feasible to put it in production because of the size of the GPU that is required and the amount of latency, right? The time taken to do an inference, right? It is quite quite high. Okay, to avoid that, uh, there are like various small models which are trained on high quality data set such that it can be deployed even in mobile devices or edge devices such that. Okay, so uh, what we'll do in this video is we'll try to fine tune a small model and try to see the change in performance when we fine tune that specific small model on a specific task or a specific data set. Okay, how the model is able to learn. Okay, how it performs after fine tuning. Okay, so with that, uh, what we'll do, right? We'll get started with the import of packages, which is we'll load the model from transformers library, which is hugging face, and then we'll load the data set, and then we have transformers uh, reinforcement learning package, and from there we'll take the supervised fine tuning config and trainer. And we'll also import setup chat format and we'll also import the torch library. Next, what we do is we look for a device, which is either if you have GPU, if you have NVIDIA GPU, you use CUDA. And if you have Mac device, then you use MPS, which is metal performance shader. And then if you don't have both, then you look for CPU. Okay. So we just uh, import all the packages here. And then what we do is we define the model that we have to uh, fine tune on. So we take the pre-trained model, which is small LM2 or 135 million parameter model. And then we store it onto what our device. Since I have a GPU, it will be stored to CUDA. And then comes the tokenizer, which will be uh, storing the model, not the storing model. It will be loading the tokenizer here for the same model, right? Tokenizer for that. And then let me run this cell and then let us look at the model config. So this small model is nothing but it uses Llama config. The architecture is Llama and various parameters corresponding to that specific model. Okay. This can be what uh, read, uh, we can read it afterwards and it's not required for us to understand right now for fine tuning thing. Okay. So next what we do is since we have our model and the tokenizer, they should be able to generate a conversation okay in a format uh, in a chat format so what we do is we set up something called a setup chat format on top of apply that to model and tokenizer what it will do is it will add special tokens like start and end for for example right you have a chat bot okay there will be user and there is assistant user assistant and you have to understand it where the conversation is started by the user where it has ended so it has to have that kind of distinction between the user or roles. Okay. Such that uh, we can understand what is the conversation is happening and we can understand the context of it. So we do this using setup chat format. Next, what we do is uh, we load the base model. Okay. Without any fine tuning and see what is the performance when we give some prompt to it. So our prompt is this one, write a haiku about programming. Uh, haiku means uh, a three line uh, Japanese poem, okay, of a certain style. Okay, so we want to do that for programming. And we turn that into a format of chat template. Okay, and once that is done, okay, let me run this cell and this one. And the format is done of a chat format. Then what we do is we send that to the tokenizer. The tokenizer will turn that into tokens and that token is then sent to the model and since it is not fine tuned on anything okay this model will just decode uh, the model's output and using the tokenizer and let us see what happens uh, when you send this prompt so uh, so what it has done right whatever the input prompt you have given it tries to generate the same thing continuously okay it did not do anything so what we have to do is we'll train or fine tune the model on a specific data set and see how this performance change when you give the same prompt. Okay. 
So next what we do is we'll do the data set preparation and it has what input output pairs and each input is a prompt and output is the expected response. It is this basic. Okay. So we load the data set uh, which is small talk and we call it everyday conversation. We let's load it and it contains couple of columns. One is full topic and there is messages. So full topic is the what the conversation is about. So it is travel vacation and this is career and work development and shopping window. So let us look at the first three messages. What are the messages for each of those topic? So this is travel and destination topic and this is the conversation for that. And this is for conversation for career and development. And this is for shopping. Okay, this one is for the shopping, shopping window. So this is the data set that will be training or fine tuning on. Okay, next is uh, setting up the SFT trainer and SFT config, which is nothing but how you train a deep learning model. Okay, what are the steps you want to set? What's the learning rate? What is the batch size of the samples you have to take in? How, uh, how to evaluate? How many times to evaluate after every step? So all these things are decided here and we keep it here, SFT config. And in SFT trainer, we take the config, SFT config along with the model and the data set and then tokenizer. Okay, so we create our trainer here. Now, uh, the thing with the, uh, what, if I train the model right now, it will take around five plus minutes. So I have already trained the model, so I won't train the model now. What we'll do is we'll just give trainer.train and then we save the model. Okay. And when you train the model, it takes around six minutes here. Okay. Six minutes, 36 seconds. So if you see the model after training, the loss, right? Validation loss and the training loss continuously decreases. Okay. It was 1.142, 1.02. It came down. And if you continue to do that, okay, it will still reduce probably. Okay. So with that, okay, we'll be training the fine tuned model and saving it here. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll take the same set of prompt and the same uh, chat template we'll create and send it to the same tokenizer and then generate the output. Okay, let me run it again. So here, uh, so this is, this is not taking the fine tuned model, I guess, because let me run it here again and we'll wait for another five minutes for this to complete. Then we'll see what is the output. So let's wait for that. So the training has been done. Okay. And it took around six minutes and 41 seconds. And if we see the training and validation loss, it continues to decrease as it was happening earlier. The reason why I had to train again because uh, I was trying to load the model again, uh, not from the stored model, but directly the model object. Okay, so that's why I had to retrain it. Okay, so earlier, okay, what happened was when we, without fine tuning, we used to get this result. Now, I have fine tuned it. Let us, let me run this one. So here, if you see, uh, it has generated a, uh, response here if you can see right write a haiku about programming it went ahead and i'm going to write a haiku about programming and what's programming it is a type of art where you create a sequence of steps to solve a problem think of it like a recipe you follow the steps you see the results can you think of any programming languages so yeah so this is the response that we get after fine tuning okay and this was for without fine tuning and with this, I'll be concluding this video and I just hope, okay, you understand the importance of a small language model over large language model because small language models are, will be preferred in the future because we have to deploy them into devices, edge devices, mobile devices for all the different uh, applications. Okay, so it becomes important that you are aware of how to uh, load, how to save, how to manage small uh, language model and how to train. Yeah, of course. So with that, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.